Hi, I'm Larry London, and this is Border Crossing. On today's show, I'll be joined by singer-songwriter Leslie Kors Mather, whose newest CD was inspired by her own personal struggles. I'm a Survivor was the result of her daughter's cancer diagnosis, her father's death, and her own health issues. The new CD was produced by Denny Deontay, who has worked with B.B. King, Barbra Streisand, Tina Turner, and many more. Leslie says the album is a collection of different genres, and she likes it that way. She has recorded five albums in the past three years and is working on a new holiday CD. Coming up, Leslie Kors Mathers performs and opens up about the new CD on today's Border Crossings. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Larry London. Welcome to Border Crossings. On today's show, we'd like to welcome to our studios a musician who's been creating music for a number of years now, and she's working on a new project and a new album that is coming out very soon. Leslie Kors Mathers is with us in Washington, D.C. Your first time in D.C.? No, no. I've been here many times, but... You know, it's always good to come back. It's been a while. Yeah, it has you have been the, a while. The kids, your family. My kids are here. My family, <laughs> my whole family the is whole here. Family. Yeah, got the whole family. The extended family. The extended family is here. And my kids have not been here before. Mm. So we did the Pentagon yesterday. Wow. We're doing the whole tour. We're doing the White House. You know. Man, are they enjoying DC so far? They're learning. You mm. know, there's, they, yes, they are enjoying it. But they're <laughs> also challenged, you know, at having to keep their brains going mm. on a vacation. So. Now, you're quite international, having grown up in Singapore. And, yeah. Living well, all around the United States. I was born now, into California. an army family, mm -hmm. and uh, so you know you're stationed around a lot. I was mm -hmm. on base, off base. Um, like you, my dad was a big golfer, so every time we moved, he looked for the golf course to live on, and that mm -hmm. was really fun and um, fun in the winter for me because you'd sled down the <laughs> the hill to the bunker. <laughs> but um, but yeah, so born in Singapore, mm -hmm. and then from there lived in the United States, but all around. Mm -hmm. And how has the travel and the living in different places influenced your music? Oh, it's really influenced my music. It's been like an identity crisis for me, you know, trying to figure out who I am and what I am and what I really, you know, where I fit in. But mm -hmm. it really has. It's been it's been like soul searching for me mm -hmm. to find that one thing that I am. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I actually like that, that, you know, I can. Linda Ronstadt's one of my big influences. And she was, I believe, very much like that. She did some country, some, right, right, you right. know, light opera. She did pop. She did big band. And mm -hmm. so I, I like to follow in her footsteps mm -hmm. in that way. And people also compare you to Linda Ronstadt. I hope so. Yeah, I hope that's so. a lot of pressure. She really, well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not really like Linda Ronstadt. I just, <laughs> I like Linda Ronstadt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she she really was an influence on me. She mm -hmm. was one of the first singers that I heard as a, as a kid. My mm -hmm. dad played her album and um not only her voice but then just the power and the the not being willing to be put in a box i was really drawn to that mm -hmm. from a young age are you on tour right now for the new music um yeah well we we will we will be going on tour for the new album which is coming out in mm -hmm. about a month um mm -hmm. so now it's i'm doing various things mm -hmm. um i have a kidney walk tour a national kidney foundation tour that's coming up next and that's um right now three southern Cal well, two, let's see, L.A. Kidney Walk, Southern Cal um, what's it called? Irvine mm -hmm. Kidney Walk, mm -hmm. and then Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. And so. kidneys, uh, is, that's a subject matter that's very, very, very close to you. To you are a kidney transplant patient. I am. Yeah, a couple years ago. Mm -hmm. It'll be, in fact, the day that the album is coming out, September 27th, is my two-year kidney transplant anniversary. Wow. The album's called my, I'm a Survivor. And... Um, and the, and the whole story really for me was that I was healthy. I've never had any diagnosis, any diseases, anything. No, it doesn't run in the family. Um, and went to the doctor thinking I, I had a cough. I couldn't breathe. I was tired. I thought I was tired from being on the road. And um, they said, you're staying. Your kidneys have failed. They actually said, I'm telling on myself here, but they said, you've got renal failure. And I said, where's my renal? Because I had no idea what kidney failure was all about. Sure. And, um, so now I've learned a lot about it. And now I'm on the... Um, you know, kind of on the path to really spread awareness and get with the National Kidney Foundation and help them any way I can to spread awareness. My brother donated his kidney to me, um, so he's one of my heroes. And, you know, and it's it really is an amazing thing that you can do. And still, he goes on and lives his life and doesn't have to take any medication. He's healthy as can be. Um, so you can do that. You can donate a kidney wow. to somebody who's... I was on dialysis for nine months and you really do feel trapped in a chair. You can't do a whole lot, you know, three days a week in dialysis. And there mm -hmm. are people who, I was nine months, there are people who are 10 years waiting for a kidney, you know. 
Right. So. I, I read today in the paper where now they're actually starting to give patients uh, kidneys with hepatitis C and things like that, oh. where they can actually treat and and cure the illness so that you can go unhealthy and it gives more options more opportunities for yeah. many well and with more awareness need. it's amazing how quickly the technology is growing you know they're they're working on um 3d printing of kidneys to give people and crazy wow. stuff like that where Organs? your heart somehow is your oh battery that powers the kidney and i don't have any idea how it works but it sounds amazing wow well yeah. we're happy you're in our studios Thank and we're you. happy you are a survivor me too